Hello, people. This is an open letter to Steve McRae and Company. Steve McRae, you are willing to believe the word of your guest, Earl David Warden, a convicted felon whose crime fits the punishment, Melody. and to invent conspiracy theories and thereby engage in apologetics in his favor. I first engaged you civilly on social media via Twitter, assuming nothing and took nothing you said to me or others out of context. You are part of this community. I am part of this community. My friends are part of this community. I feel it incumbent upon myself to separate myself from your views and the views of others like you. Because your position is nothing more than a conspiracy theory invented by the convicted rapist you platformed and not backed up by evidence of any kind. Asking people to go directly to the convicted rapist to ask him questions and ask him directly is incorrect, Steve, because it is not him we are concerned with. It is you, Steve McRae, who platformed him, first claiming to have special knowledge that exonerates your guest, who you platformed, then becoming closer in friendship with him, and now, by your current position, which you articulated quite clearly on Red Rhetoric's channel in public and on Twitter as well. Since you and many others of you are literally defending him on the basis of claiming illegal judicial procedures, and it's not guilt by association, because we aren't associating you with his actions, only your own actions, which are apologetics in his favor. There is no nuance or gray areas to be found on this ethical position. You believe something without evidence, against the evidence, in fact, and I'm not interested in putting on kid gloves for your benefit or anyone else's. Otherwise, it would be favoritism by association, like some of you are engaging in, some of your friends, and I wouldn't want to do that. Ridiculous claims require ridiculous amounts of evidence, Steve. I'm sorry to learn that many people have chosen to believe you without evidence simply because you do not like the people who spoke out against you for forcing this issue on the community when you knew in advance that your guest had a history of being accused of sexual predation. Later, you learned he was a convicted rapist. You are engaging in rape apologetics and your friend's efforts have not helped you. Your changing positions has not helped you. Speaking to the convicted rapist has not helped you because you have not provided evidence to back up his claims or yours. Instead, you have foisted this issue onto the larger community and you are currently in an unfortunate, immoral, and unethical position. Many people can claim that they don't agree with rape. Many people can claim that they stand against rape and think it's rep a reprehensible thing to do. Among these people making such statements are rapists. You need to back up your statements with actions, Steve McRae. Those actions might be providing your audience and critics with evidence of your claims, else be known as a conspiracy theorist who is engaging in rape apologetics. I'm not sorry to have to be so harsh and blunt because you, sir, are in an untenable position. Have a nice day.